So if we look at this histogram, we have the frequencies right here and the amount of rainfall down here for a year in millimeters. So what we need to calculate is how many of these 100 years had less than 1,000 millimeters of rainfall and divide that by the total number of years in our data set, 100. So here's 1,000. So these bars all represent rainfall of less than 1,000 millimeters. So this first one has a frequency of 1 and a frequency of 3 for the next, then 6, and then 9. So if we add all that together, we get 19 out of the 100 years had rainfall of less than 1,000 millimeters. So a year with 1,000 millimeters of rainfall would be the 19th percentile. So if we made a list of all 100 rainfalls and put them all in order, to find the interquartile range, we'd need to average the 25th and 26th value to find quartile 1, and the 74th and 75th value to find quartile 3. And the difference of those would be the interquartile range. Now the problem is, when we try to do that, the 25th and 26th, as well as the 74th and 75th values, are stuck somewhere within these bars. In fact, the 25th to 26th is somewhere between 1,000 and 1,050 millimeters, and the 74th, 75th is between 1,150 and 1,200 millimeters of rain. And we don't know the exact values, so we could really only estimate the IQR. If we assume the rainfall is normally distributed, then we can find the interquartile range. So the middle of the distribution is at the mean, at 1,090.2. We need to find what cuts off the lower 25% and the upper 25% of the distribution, because those will be our quartile 1 and quartile 3 values. To do this, we're going to use the inverse norm function. If you press second vars, you get to your distribution menu. Go to inverse norm. Now to find quartile 1, we need to tell it how much area to the left we want. So quartile 1 is what cuts off the lower 25% to the left. So I'll put 0.25. Now for mean, I'm going to put 1,090.2. And for standard deviation, 105.8. Now when I press enter on paste and then enter again, I get this cutoff value of 1,018.84 approximately. That's quartile 1. Now to find quartile 3, we're going to do the exact same thing except for area, we need to put in 0.75. That's because to the left of quartile 3 is the middle 50% plus the lower 25%. So it's a total of 75%. Everything else we're going to keep the same. And so our quartile 3 is approximately 1,161.56. So interquartile range is quartile 3 minus quartile 1. So in our case, our IQR is 142.72 millimeters. If you like this video, check out my normal distribution playlist. It covers things like z-scores and normal calculations, percentiles, and ogives. It's a great way to prepare for the AP stats exam.